Hello students, in this video you will come to know about certain important viva questions related to chemical kinetics. Let us start. The first one is define chemical kinetics. So, it is a branch of chemistry which deals with the study of rates of reactions and their mechanism. Then the next question could come in the series, what do you understand by rate of reaction? So, the rate of reaction is basically the change in the molar concentration of any of the reactants or products per unit time. Okay. Next question probable it could be define law of mass action. So, what is law of mass action? It states that the rate of reaction is directly proportional to the product of molar concentration of the reactants. So, if you consider a general reaction A plus B giving products okay then according to law of mass action rate of reaction is proportional to molar concentration of reactants that is molar concentration of A and molar concentration of B. Further this proportionality sign could be removed by adding this proportionality constant K. Okay? And this proportionality constant k is termed as the velocity constant in this particular case. Okay, then check out the next one. Why certain reactions are very fast? It's very simple because they have very low activation energy. Fifth question is define molecularity of a reaction. Two commonly uh, going questions with reference to this is one could be molecularity, the other could be the order of a reaction. So, if we ask, uh, if it has been asked to you about molecularity, your answer could be the number of reacting species that must come closer and collide with each other simultaneously so as to bring about a chemical change is termed as molecularity of a reaction. Okay? The next one is what is threshold energy? Threshold energy is the minimum energy which the colliding molecules must possess so as to have effective collisions. Okay? The next one, can the reaction have fractional order? Yes, it could have the fractional order. Uh, I can suggest you one example for this also. So, if you consider decomposition of acetaldehyde, this is acetaldehyde CH3CHO, decomposition taking place into methane and carbon monoxide, the order in this particular case is found to be 1.5. So, it is a fractional order. Okay. The next question, what do you understand by rate determining step? So, in a reaction which involves more than one steps, means we are talking about the complex reactions here, the overall rate of reaction in such cases is determined by the slowest step and that step is known as the rate determining step. Right. Next one, what is saponification? So, saponification is when an hydrolysis of an ester takes place by heating with an alkali. So, this is your ester. When you heat it with an alkali, NaOH, okay, and you resulting in the formation of carboxylic acids or the sodium salt of carboxylic acid and alcohols. This is what a saponification means. Okay. Then see the next question there. Can you study the kinetics of saponification with the help of conductometry? Yes, definitely yes. What happens as you observed in this particular reaction right now? What happened there? The hydroxyl ions of NaOH are replaced by slow moving carboxylate ions there. Okay. So, what can you say since the hydroxyl ions which were fast moving those are rep getting replaced by the slow moving car carboxylate ions. So, conductivity of solution will fall right and this is approximately proportional to the rate of hydrolysis that means by just checking out the conductivity measurements you are definitely in a position to study the, uh, the kinetics of saponification reaction. See the next question. What is the order of this reaction? This reaction means we are asking about saponification reaction. So, it is a second order reaction 
because the rate of reaction in this case depends upon both of them concentration of ester as well as on the alkali okay check the next question there what will be the order of reaction if the rate of reaction does not change on increasing the concentration of the reactants so can you guess the answer for this what will be the order of reaction it is a zero order reaction theek hai so if the rate of reaction does not change even after increasing the concentration of the reactants then it is definitely a zero order reaction okay so these are the most probable questions from this particular series that's for this particular video thank you